Hi everybody, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zerscher and today I'll be demonstrating how to applique a perfect circle. I will also be showing you how to emboss silk velvet and make it into a purpose, perfect circle that you can then applique down. Circles can be really daunting and I've tried doing them freehand, just doing needle turn with um, not great results. I'm sure it's possible, but it's not possible for me, at least not yet. So I have some workarounds and would love for you to join me. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And let's get started. This is the circle that I have just whip stitched down. If you want to learn how to whip stitch, I did a video on that and I've got the link to that coming up right there. So my fabric, which I'm going to fussy cut, I can go directly to my, my perfect circles if there's a size I like. And actually I think this is the size I want. If I didn't, I would go and use my template. I'm now going to take my chalk pencil and I'm going to draw around the circle. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut So there I have him. So this is um, the Athena thread that Sue Spargo carries. It's a 60 weight cotton. It's really lovely for applique. I'm gonna grab my short darner number 11. That's the needle I really like. Threading, you wanna hold your thread in your right hand. Bring your needle to the thread. To do a quilter's knot, I'm going to take my thread in my right hand. I'm going to put my needle over it, hold it, wrap twice, and pull my needle through. Then what I do is I'm going to take my circle that I've cut out, and I'm going to do a running stitch all the way around this outer edge, so about an eighth of an inch from that chalk line. When I come to the end, I'm just going to clip off leaving a tail so that I have something to pull. I find that the uh, this, this, whatever this is, is a little sturdier and makes it a little easier to cinch this up. I also uh, find it not so nice to try to pull this off once I've pressed it. If I press it too much, then it's really hard to get off. Um, you can with some tweezers, but for the cotton, I actually prefer this. So I'm just going to cinch it up like this, and there's my little guy. I can kind of adjust him, so I want maybe his beak to show, and I don't care so much about the tail feathers. My iron's hot. I'm going to press that flip it over. Now, at this point, I can also use um, some kind of spray. My favorite spray is Flatter. This on, Sue Spargo carries this on her site. It comes in a variety of different um, scents. I like the pineapple. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to carefully slip him out. I'm going to put this aside, and I'm just going to just gently cinch that up again so that I don't lose my shape. And I'm gonna find where I want him on here. I'll just use a couple pins to get him exactly where I want him. Maybe use two pins to situate him. If he was bigger, I'd use more. I'm gonna come up right on that edge and then I'm just gonna take little stitches. Beauty of this is that that edge is Nicely ironed down. Do you see how I'm coming up right at the edge of that? Not too far in. Then going down directly beneath. 
not at a slant. I spoke about this when I, uh, in the needle turn applique video that I did, which is ABC. This is something I came up with to remember how to situate the applique and how I was stitching. So A is for applique, B is for below. So my applique is below and I'm stitching clockwise. That's the C. A, applique, B, below, stitch, C, clockwise. I have my velvet here and I've made it into a, a, a circle-ish kind of shape. And I have my stamp that I'm going to use. I want a dry iron, which is here. I want my stamp. I want my velvet. I'm going to spritz it with this. It's a mist it and it has a really fine spray. You just fill it with water. Now I'm going to put my iron down. I usually sing a, one refrain of happy birthday and, that, and, then, I, and then I look at it. Okay, I'm going to one more happy birthday in my head. So I think it's pretty well embossed over my stamp. I'm going to take my, it's not just your regular kitchen freezer paper, it's, it's a thicker one. And I'm going to make sure that it's centered. Then I'm going to press the iron to it. Now I want this to adhere well enough that it's solidly on there, but not so well that I'm gonna have trouble getting it off once I do my running stitch, my basting stitch around the edge and draw up the edges. Okay, I'm gonna pull my, freeze, my, my freezer paper, my piece off of here. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and do my running stitch around I want to have a little tail on that knot so that I'm able to easily pull it through. I'm going to go around the edge. I'm trying to be careful not to put my fingers on the part that is embossed that I'm going to have show because the pressure from my fingers might smudge the exactness of the design. And I'd like to keep it as detailed as possible. I'm going to pull it before I pull too much more, I'm going to cut off some of this excess, being careful not to cut my string. I'm going to draw this up. And there is my circle. I'm going to come over to my wool. So I'm going to put it down to closer to the bottom there. I'm going to take my thread. I'm going to go right into that edge. And then I'm going to place it and I'm going to very lightly anchor it with my thumb. I'm not going to press down hard because I don't want that embossed part getting smudged. My applique thread should match the color of what I'm appliquing down. So instead of it being pink, it should be this sort of peachy color, salmon-y color. I want to catch that edge. With velvet, it can look like you're catching it, but you're actually not. So you want to really make sure that you're catching it. I'm going to go a little farther but I have to leave an opening because I still have to get this freezer paper out. I want to give myself plenty of room to do that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to very gently open this up and try to pull this paper out and continue stitching. There it is. I'm going to tie off my end here. That is the velvet embossed perfect circle. 
Isn't that pretty? I hope this has been helpful. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Here's to stitching together.